Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tobin MUA, and if you are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I want to say welcome 2018. This is my first video of 2018, so it's really, really exciting. And I thought I'd bring you guys a halo purple eye. Um, I got this idea actually from a friend of mine, Daisy. If you do not know who she is, she's in my other channels bar. You guys can check her out. But um, she sent me this photo through text, and I guess Morphe, the decided like the month of the or the month of January is purple. So I took that and ran with it. So I did this halo purple smoky eye, um, and I really really like the outcome of it. I love how my face turned out. I'm absolutely obsessed with the look. And I really hope you guys are as well. I, I, yeah, I love it. And also, can we just, a little side note, um, talk about the background and how plain it looks now because Christmas is over, so I had to take the Christmas tree down and my present and everything, and now it just looks really, really plain and it makes me really sad. <sighs> it's just so sad. Ugh. So I need to figure out something put behind there. So if you guys have suggestions, let me know. But um, if you guys do want to see t how to recreate this eye look, then please just keep on watching. So we got the boring background for now. Um, sadly, Christmas is now over. Um, but that means, I guess, the only good thing about it is that like spring and summer tutorials can come about so that's the only thing I think about that's like the next thing I think about when it comes to YouTube well no lies the next thing I think about is actually in a couple more days will be my starting my sixth year on YouTube the 17th of January was when I created my channel and then technically in a way the 19th was the day I uploaded my first video so that will be really, really exciting. Um, I definitely want to do a video for that day. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to just do a fun, colorful makeup tutorial using the Eyes on the 80s palette from BH Cosmetics. I don't have any like colored palettes. This is like literally the only colored palette I have. Um, I need to get some or one. I really want to get the 35B palette from Morphe. I want that one so bad. I went to the Morphe store at the Brea Mall in Southern California and um, I looked at it. I wanted to buy it but it was around Christmas time and around Christmas time I can't really buy it for myself. So there is that but now that it is now Christmas time and I can buy it. But we're going to play with colors today. I'm going to use um, purples. I'm going to do a purple halo eye for you guys. So, yeah, if you guys do want to see this video, keep on watching. If you've not yet subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up before you go, and let's get on to the video. So, okay, first I'm going to go in. I want to go in with a transition shade. So, I'm going to go in with this peachy shade right here. Um... It's a more so peachy shade, so I'm going to go in with that into the crease of the eye. So it's just going to help blend the shadows. So the next shade I'm going to go in with, I think, is this dark purple on the end right here. Okay, so I'm going to go in with, this is just a flat, I think this was Coastal Sense. I got this like years ago from iMats and I got this in, like I won like a little giveaway. Okay, I'm going to pat that on the outer corner. This shade is so pigmented. So I can't find the brush I'm looking for, but I'm just going to use a little pencil brush. I'm going to 
go in with, this is a Morphe E, or not E, this is the M506 brush, and I'm going to take this lilac shade right here, and I'm going to marry those two shades. So I got that, and I'm just going to start in the middle and just back and forth, going back in. Okay, the shadow literally just disappeared. So I'm gonna have to like pack on more. Without any of that lavender shade, I'm just going to blend some more of those purples. the dust away again. I'm going to take a bigger brush, the MAC 224, and just really buff the crease. Okay, so... Now that we have that eye down, I'm going to go in with a little bit of Pro Concealer from LA Girl. And I'm just going to take that on the back of my hand. And I'm actually just going to have it on with my finger. I'll blend that out. Then I'm going to go in with my Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and I'm going to go in with Forever Lit, which you can't even see. That saturation is crazy, but it's right here. You guys know, you've seen Forever Lit, I'm sure. Sure, so that's what I'm going to go in with. Now I'm going to go in with this isn't actually a setting spray. I actually got this from my friend for my birthday, and um, it is the Urban Day Quick Fix. This is a Hydra, Hydra Charged Complexion Prepping Priming Spray. That's the mouthful. But I'm going to use it today. I forgot to use it before, but I'm going to use it today. Okay, I hate that Urban Decay has two caps for these. I used to have the um, uh, the the setting spray, but I've lost it somehow. But I'm gonna use this to just um, get this a little damp, just so it's gonna be even more intense. Yep. Oh, I love it. Drag it out a little bit. I love it. I'm gonna actually going to take that pencil brush and I'm just going to run a little bit above that in the crease. Then I'm gonna go back in with the small blending brush from Morphe and just Buff that out. Yeah. I really like it. And actually, I'm going to put a little bit. I'm going to add a dab of this hot pink in it. Just literally just going to tap my brush once. Tap the axis and go in. I'm going to add a brow highlight. I'm going to go in with Glow Getta. It's right there. I'm going to go with Forever Lit too. So Glow Getta and Forever Lit. 
from Anastasia, and this is the Nicole Guerrero collab. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So before foundation, I'm going to moisturize and I'm using the, um, M I can't even say this, M M blah, 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 blah. That's what it looks like. Uh, I can't really, <laughs> there we go. I can't really see it, but, um, you can get it from Target. I love this stuff. It's really, really moisturizing, actually. So I'm going to take a little bit, okay, a little bit of that and just moisturize. It's probably a little too much, but I'm just going to moisturize my face. This stuff, I swear to you guys, it feels so, so good. You literally don't need a ton of it. It goes such a long way. And I've had this for like mm, almost like a year and I still have so much of this. Like this is where like that's all that I've used. So this stuff really like lasts and I freaking love it and it feels so nice on the skin. If you guys ever want to try it, purchase it at Target. Or you can find it at Target. It's really, really nice. And this is the Luxie Dual Fiber. Okay, so now that we got that down, I'm going to... So foundation today, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in Light Tan 08. My favorite, favorite foundation. If you guys ever were wondering, I take two pumps. This is a um, pump with it, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to just dab that on the face. <laughs> Simba. And just bounce it on the skin. Using, this is a Real Techniques Beauty Blender or Miracle Sponge. There we go. So we got foundation on. Next we got going with this concealer. For concealer, I think I'm going to, I might use this one. I'm going to use this concealer. I might just mix these two. These two are actually both um, LA Girl Pro concealers. This one's just in a NYX bottle. And this one is in natural. This one is medium beige. Medium beige. Now this is a lot of concealer. I know. Um, I know a lot of people don't like using a ton of concealers. Totally understand if you are not a concealer person, or just don't like a ton of concealer. Me, I like a lot. I like the cake. I was talking with my aunt. Um, we went out to dinner for my birthday. And um, we were just talking about makeup and stuff. Um, and we ended up talking about um, foundations. We were talking about foundations. I was telling them my favorite, which is the Milani. You guys know this. The Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Um, that's the one I like so far. I do want to try others, but right now I've been using the Milani, and I think it works 
very very well. Um, it conceals everything if it wants to. Um, we were just talking about that and then we were talking about just like full coverage com foundations. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, I like cake. I like cake, I like frosting, I love cake. So, if you are a full cake person, then the Conceal and Perfect is for you. Um, if you've ever tried it or you've wanted to try it, definitely I think you should. I'm going to go back in with that dark purple shade and the M506 brush and just. Okay, so, or is it this side? It's this side, just kidding. Okay, so, I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use, this is actually the Cody Airspun, just in the NYX um, container, only because... This is a lot easier than working with the original Cody Airspun container. I'm going to take, this is a full or a large powder brush. Now I have to bring life back to my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Beauty Mark palette and I'm going to go in with the darker shade right here. So now that we have that down, I'm going to go into contour using the NYX Highlighting Contour Palette. And I'm going to take, where is it? Here it is. I've actually never used this brush before. Um, this is a, this is from the Archie Collection from MAC. It is a, whoa, this is a lot. 168 SE brush. So I'm going to take that. So now I'm going to do a little nose contour. I'm like all done. Nope. Blend that out using the Morphe E or e, I keep saying e, the M513. Now I'm going to go on to lower the lash line and I'm going to go in with that dark purple shade and a little pencil brush and I'm just going to run that on the lower, you know what, no, I'm not going to do that first. I'm going to go in with eyeliner. It's not that pigmented. I know I have another one that I really, really like. Here it is. Yes, this is a coal liner from NYX, and I really like this one. And all I did was I just smudged it on the bottom lash line. I'm gonna, I'm going with a more, yeah. This is a Morphe E18 brush. I'm going to move with a ton of brushes today. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with the little baby brush from Morphe without any product on it and just blend that. Just really, really smoke out the bottom lash line. So eyes, eyeshadow is done and lower lash line is done and I'm going to go in with mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. For lashes today I'm going to go in with the D307 Dodo Lashes. These are so amazing. If you guys ever want to try Dodo Lashes I do have a coupon code with them. I do make a little bit of commission so take that as you please. Um, I would definitely love it if you did. Their lashes do range from $5 to $12 depending on the style you get. These ones are considered their 3D lashes. These ones are more um, full. So these lashes I want to say are about $12 um, uh, because they are more full. So I definitely would suggest trying out Dodo lashes if you ever want to try out lashes. Their price range is amazing. The price tag is the best. Um, they are mink lashes. I will let you guys know that. Um, they are mink lashes, so if you aren't into mink, then they're not for you. So the lashes I'm wearing today are by the brand Dodo Lashes, and they are the style D307. So that's what I did on the lashes for today to send on these ones and yeah I love them because they're super like full and like fluffy and just amazing great for a halo purple halo eye perfect for that and then for lips today I'm going to be actually using the same brand which is Gerard Cosmetics I'm going to use their lip lighter in mudslide and then their hydromat liquid lipstick in bare it all So that was Mudslide Lip Pencil and Bare It All Hydromat Liquid Lipstick. And I really, really like this combo. I think it looks really, really pretty. Especially with this eye look, it's so bold. So I went with a toned down look, a more nude, um, appropriate look. And so now on to highlighter. And the highlight I'm going to be using today is the e.l.f. highlighter. I might use a little bit of my Anastasia highlighter as well. I'm going to go in with my M510 brush. I'm going to get some of that highlighter on the brush. Decent amount on there. I'm going to take this setting spray stuff Ooh, this is a highlight Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit I'm going in with um, Glow Getta Actually, I'm going to go in with a little bit of 143. I actually have never used 143, I don't think. Oh my god, that's blinding. Whew. Let's just bounce some of this on this side a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go back in with the highlight from e.l.f. And this is in the shade Moonlight Pearls. And for a drugstore, like, I think this was like three bucks. 
highlighter. These are really, really good. I'm absolutely obsessed with theirs. I think they're really, really great for the price. Um, yeah. Do you see that? See how good that looks? Yeah, that's just the e.l.f. highlighter. No, this side is just the e.l.f. highlighter. And it's still freaking blinding. So go in with a little bit of 143 and Glow Getta from Anastasia. And really just amp up the highlight, pretty much. Right there. Yes. A little bit on the, above the brow bone. Got to frown a little bit. All right, oh, so blinding, so, so blinding, this highlight. So, highlight is now done. I want to use blush. Where is my blush palette? I haven't used blush in quite some time, and I want to start using blushes in 2018. So, yeah. So, if you guys could recommend some blushes that are your favorites in the comments, let me know just so I can go and purchase them and try them out with actually some e.l.f. blushes right here. And I'm just going to just marry the two. Yeah, that looks good. It just helps blend the highlight and the contour shade. So, I think that is it. Last step is to spray my face. I'm just going to actually just use this to lock it all in. And I think that is the final look. <laughs> So that is it. I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. I absolutely love the outcome of it. If you did as well, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All those are at Tobin MUA. I'm always on Snapchat. I'm always on Twitter. I'm always on Instagram. Um, yeah, so if you want to communicate with me and talk back and forth with me, um, talk back and forth. If you guys want to conversate with me, then go check out those handles. And yeah, I absolutely love this. I hope you guys did as well. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's 2018. It's kind of insane to think that it's 2018. Um, so this year has already started to a good start for me and I'm so excited for the rest of the months to come. So I hope you guys are having a great January, the first month of 2018. Um, it's kind of crazy to think that it's 2018. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it and um, thank you guys so much for the endless amount of support you guys give my channel. Um, I had a great, great 2017 and I can't wait for this year to happen because this year is actually starting my sixth year on YouTube, which is insane to me that I've been doing YouTube videos since 2012 and that's just crazy to think. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the endless support and all the sweet comments and thumbs ups and everything like that. You guys are amazing. So, here's to 2018. Here's to the first tutorial of 2018. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of my family. And I think that is it. That's all I have to say for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.